Dr. Neha Gupta, Senior Infectious Diseases Physician with more than 18 years of experience in this field. And today we are going to discuss regarding tuberculosis. So Sir William Osler once said that tuberculosis is the captain of men of death. And so many centuries later, this entity still remains the most leading cause of death in today's scenario. Tuberculosis is one of the most common infectious diseases and it is caused by M. tuberculosis or Mycobacterium tuberculosis. What is the transmission? How does the transmission happen? So transmission of tuberculosis from one person to another person happens through droplet, droplet transmission. That is, if a patient is infected and sneezes or coughs, then the tuberculosis bacilli, they are also released and they remain suspended in the environment or in the air for several hours. And if somebody then inhales, then these bacilli may reach the alveoli and depending upon the immunity, their fate is different. So when the TB bacilli reaches the alveoli, it is engulfed by the macrophages and depending upon the immune response, this TB bacilli is either killed or it is being cur curtailed within the macrophages so it remains dormant or it results in an active tuberculosis. So these are the three main fate of TB bacilli once it enters the alveoli and it all depends upon the immune response. In patients who have got some defective immunity, they are likely to have a more active disease. Whereas people who have got a good immune system, they will curtail this particular TB bacilli with their immunity. So in which people tuberculosis is more common? It is in people like patients with diabetes, patients with HIV, immune, immunocompromised patients, transplant recipients or in, even in individuals where there is vitamin deficiency, particularly of vitamin D, they are likely to develop tuberculosis in an active form. Now having said this, it doesn't mean that a healthy individual cannot develop TB. It can happen even in healthy individuals just because there is so much of prevalence of TB bacilli especially if people, people are living in crowded places then there is a likelihood of transmission from one person to another person. So that is why in cities like Mumbai they are considered as the hotspots. But even in the rural areas or even in other parts of the country tuberculosis is very common. So what are the various types or what are the various manifestations of tuberculosis? Commonly it is thought that TB affects only the lungs but it is not so. It can affect any part of the body as well. So we can get TB in the brain where a person can have symptoms like headache, vomiting, there can be deterioration in the consciousness, seizures. These are the various manifestations of TB in the brain. It can affect the eye as well where sometimes there can be loss of vision. It can affect the heart where the person can present with progressive uh, breathlessness, some kind of cough which is happening and on examination or an x-ray there will be fluid around the heart which is known as pericardial effusion. Then a person can also present with backache. So this particular backache at times is misdiagnosed and is not treated for a long period of time and backache can be because of spine involvement by the TB bacilli which is known as the pot spine or the vertebral osteomyelitis. TB can also affect the bones so there can be involvement of the bone, it can involve the wrist joint, it can affect any part of the hip joint. So pain at the wrist, pain in the hip, knee are the other presentations of tuberculosis. Besides this, a lot of times young female can present with infertility. That is, they are not able to conceive and uh, they are not able to have babies. 
so the most common cause for infertility especially primary infertility in india is still tuberculosis and it is something which is treatable and curable besides in men there can be swelling of the scrotal region or the genital part it it is usually a painless gradually increasing swelling of the genital part which can be because of tb and other common manifestation of tuberculosis is lymph node so there can be swelling of the lymph node it can the swelling of the lymph node can be because of various causes including it can be lymphoma or cancer but tb is also one of the most common causes and it is curable and it's very important to diagnose it early and also initiate appropriate treatment to have a more successful clinical outcome when we talk about the diagnosis of tuberculosis it is based on the symptoms then we have to look into the various radiology that is x rays of that particular part which is affected needs to be done and if we can actually take out some specimen from the area which is involved we have to send it for the appropriate microbiological cultures especially uh, tb cultures afp stain expert uh, mtb as well as expert ultra as well as molecular assays like the csa pyra sequencing can help in the early diagnosis of tuberculosis and also can help in uh, ruling out drug resistant tb once we have made the diagnosis of tb it's important to start the therapy at the earliest and the tb drugs have to be according to the weight so it's very important to give the drugs in the right dosages in order to have a uh, more um, in order to have a successful outcome as well as prevent um, the development of drug resistant tb and at the same time these drugs have to be taken regularly and sometimes there can be certain side effects related to the anti tb drugs like it can affect the liver resulting in hepatitis there can be rashes as well so a close monitoring with the treating clinician is extremely important to have an early detection of these adverse effects and then subsequently manage them as well so to summarize it's basically early diagnosis of tb is very very important anybody can have tuberculosis it's important to prevent it with the appropriate uh, uh, one has to uh, keep oneself healthy and um, if there is tb then appropriate tb therapy in the right dosages with close monitoring of the within the close monitoring of the doctor should be done so that we can cure tuberculosis thank you so much